was my reel went bad is because I was putting it underwater so much to tie flies on. This was like a nice rod and reel, and it's not mine, so I can't just like throw it in the river. Yeah, don't throw the rod in the river. It's not right. You wouldn't want to do that I again, hate, right, Adam? <laughs> All right, we're heading to the little J with Sam and John. And, uh, well, hopefully we catch some fish. Water's up. It's a little discolored, but not muddy, which is good. But that's also a sign that it's been very dry. It's cold. The sun's out. The grass is green. What other obvious things can I point out? This guy's bluff. There's leaves, there's leaves <laughs> on the ground. It's fall time. Yeah, it's fall time. Changing colors. It's uh, October 31st. Happy Halloween. Um, I hope your satanic worship goes well today. Pagan worship. Pagan, pagan, worship. pagan worship, excuse me. The ones we don't have history for, but make it up anyways. Fried chicken. All right. The harvest party is much better. <laughs> I need to get all this. Back up. It's like, whatever you do, don't put your finger in his mouth. What was that? Oh, I was like, oh no. Somebody dropped it. I've heard that sound a lot of times, so I know it, something falling in the water. Let's let some line out. <laughs> that was a bigger fish that he caught and tried to. You're in my car. Here we go. This is a better fish, a little better. Yeah. It's a jellyfish. <laughs> uh, wait. Oh yeah. The rainbow. Um. Now that, I don't like when that happens. <laughs> I 
Uh, I hope I'm not breathing as heavy as I normally do in my videos. My wife and son are like, why do you breathe so heavy? They put a wind sock on. <laughs> this, is, this is a better fish than I've caught so far today. Not to mention he's in heavier water. Where'd he go? He sees me. Watch it on YouTube that does scuba diving. No. Woo! He's got a lot of energy still. The uh, Sonic Hot episode where George gets the, he gets, comes out of the cold pool and he's just streaming. Help us, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's coming to the Trying to get him in front of me. You know what? Oh, this is a very, very nice brown trout. Very nice brown trout. I don't know what he took. Dang it. I'm guessing he took this because it's straight. It was wound all up. Can I politely ask you to take a picture because I never get a good picture with fish? What do you want to take a picture? Well, you said you wanted to sketch. How quick can you sketch? Did the trout bite? Just kidding. Wow, this is awesome. It's still got all kinds of energy. Come on. Ready?
Toronto. But, uh, Hey guys and gals, thanks for joining me for another journey on the fly. I hope you enjoyed John and Sam's success pictures and some video that we caught today on the Little Juniata. Which brings me to another one of our Fishing for Truth segments. Which I hope you don't get bored with, but I don't want to be just another fishing YouTube channel. I want to give you content that is fishing and family and the outdoors. But... I also want to interject some cultural, religious, ethical commentary that will help us think about things a little better and a little deeper. A lot like fishing, because if you think that you can just catch a fish once in a while, especially a stocked fish, that you know everything about fishing, you got a lot to learn. At least I have anyways. And there are deeper ways of thinking about fishing more precise technical ways to think about fishing that enhance, I think, the enjoyment of it. So in the same sense, this segment, Fishing for Truth, helps us look a little deeper into some aspects of our life. So today I wanna to talk to you about learning how to talk to people. And I don't mean that in an arrogant way that somehow I could do it better than you I simply want to offer some advice that has helped me talk to people have discussions and even friendships with people that I don't agree with on some major issues both political and ethical one of the things that one of the first things that we should learn is that we are all seeking truth at least we ought to be anyways <clears throat> the second thing I think is important to keep and to understand, to keep in mind and to understand, is that we're talking to another person. And we're talking about ideas. And yes, ideas make up the person's mental state, but ideas are not the person. So we can attack ideas, but we should never attack a person. We should be able to have discussions without raising our voice. You know, I don't think emotions should govern every aspect of our life, but I do think emotions are good. But reason is what guides us to truth. So screaming and yelling and getting heated just means that we lack temperance, we lack self-control, and we don't like being in a confrontational place. But these issues are important. Let me end it with one challenge. We're told by our grandparents and different folks that there's two things you should never talk about, religion and politics. Well, there's two problems I have with that. Religion is incredibly important. The question that God exists has everything to do with the foundation of humanity and what comes next in our life, our purpose and meaning and so forth. So it seems ridiculous not to talk about it. Politics are important, not as important as religious matters. Politics are important, not as much as religious ideas, but they are very important. Who governs us and what kind of laws that person or persons produce to govern us is really, really important. And then the second reason I think it's silly to say that and to believe that you can't talk about it is that in saying you shouldn't talk about it is talking about it and it's making a louder really ridiculous statement about your views on religion and politics which is either you don't know or you're apathetic to it and I think the reason I just gave you insofar as the existence of God and how important and valuable that conversation and seeking the truth of those matters is should really shed some light onto it so the next time that you get into a conversation Remember you're talking to a person, 
And remember, you should be seeking the truth. And sometimes those conversations can be sticky and uncomfortable, but they are more than worth having. God bless. See you on the water.